नमस्ते फ्रेंड्स वी वेर इट इज टू सी ए केमिस्ट्री ऑफ ट्रांजिशन एलिमेंट्स एंड इन विच वी हैव स्टार्टेड द डिस्कशन ऑफ क्रिस्टल फील्ड थ्योरी एंड इन दैट केस वी हैव सीन द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ दिस थ्योरी टू वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ ज्योमेट्रीज और क्रिस्टल फील्ड्स व्हिच आर पॉसिबल लास्ट टाइम वी हैव सीन द क्रिस्टल फील्ड फॉर स्क्वायर प्लेन और स्ट्रक्चर और ज्योमेट्री and now we will see the overall or comparative crystal field splitting for different types of arrangements or geometries in this case we can compare these geometries with respect to uh, crystal field splitting for tetrahedral complex and uh, the uh, magnetic characters or high spin low spin nature of electronic characters now <clears throat> in order to understand this we have to remember this comparative crystal field splitting uh, in this way <clears throat> so crystal field splitting is studied here comparatively crystal field Splitting for simple joint. in order to understand this we have to show this on the axis like this so this is the energy axis e in this direction and the delta crystal field splitting is shown here on this axis as from this 1.2 1.2 then here 1.0 then 0 0.06 0.04 0.02 0.0 Zero. Then minus point two. Then here minus point four. Then here minus point six. Then minus point eight. Then minus one point zero. Then minus. One point two. So in this way, this much energy scale will be required for comparative arrangement. <coughs> Now I will show here first a uh, square planar joint, then trigonal by pyramidal, trigonal by Pyramidal, then square pyramidal, square pyramidal, then octahedral, octahedral, pentagonal by pyramidal, pentagonal by pyramidal, square antiprism. Square antiprism and tetrahedral <clears throat> So in this way we can compare these arrangements. Now the the crystal field splitting shows that 
in case of square pillar geometry, the arrangement is like this. So these two orbitals that is dx3 d x3 dy3 is at this level then d3 2 is at this level this is d3 2 d3 2 then dx1 is at 2 or oh, more then it is d x y here it is d x y and this is d x2 minus y2 this is for square planar complex now for trigonal bipyramidal structure the levels of these energies are like this. These are ZX, DYJ. Then D, D, X, Y and D, X, 2 minus Y, 2 and D, Z, 2 lies here D, Z, 2 Then in case of square pyramidal geometries the level is like this. These are D, Y, T, D, Z, X, then D, X, Y, D, X, Y. Then D X two minus Y two. X two minus Y two. <clears throat> For tetrahedral complex, the energy levels are like this. can say this is T2G and <coughs> the easy levels are at 0.6 these are EG levels then for pentagonal by pyramidal arrangement the D, X, Y and Z are slightly lower energy and D Z X <coughs> then D X Y and D X2 minus Y3 that point to level minus a plus point to level D X Y Dx2 
two minus y two and d z two then in square and triple prism its matrix structure the d z two is lying slightly lower d z two. Then the x y and the y z the x y and d x two minus y two and Point four level. It is the x t z x and d y t. And then the triangle geometries at point six delta. These are e g and one two level these are t g <coughs> so this is crystal field spitty that can be comparatively understood <coughs> So we can fill up these levels comparatively for any type of the configuration like the four, the five, etc. And we can find out the uh, whether the complex gets paired or remains uh, paramagnetic means remains unpaired. For example, for instance, if we take is d phi rigid for example in case of d phi case we can have the distribution like this so there is only one unpaired electron in this case now here you will have the distribution like this so there is also one unpaired electron in this case the distribution is like this similarly but it depends upon the strength of ligand if the ligands are a strong field then the distribution may vary so for a uh, weak field ligand the three electrons are there but for strong field ligands the electron distribution is like this so if the ligand is weak failure, the two electrons will move here and all five electrons are unpaired. But when strong field ligands are there, the distribution is different. In this case also we can have the distribution like this. So depending upon <coughs> here means this will again undergo splitting in order to achieve square antiprismatic structure. <clears throat> Again here in case of tetrahedral arrangement the distribution is like this. Here also we can have the distribution in this way. <clears throat> so we can compare the properties such as magnetic characters are the electronic characters and the <coughs> other structural properties. So with this we will uh, we have completed this comparative structure. Now we will see the second part of this 
lecture that is the uses and limitations of study in the theory uses and limitations uses and limitations of cft cft <coughs> now if we see the uses first it shows that this theory brings the various factors such as structure magnetic properties and electronic uh, properties together by means or with the help of this theory then it can compare or it can show the trends in cfac which provides the understanding of thermodynamic and kinetic aspects of d block metal complexes crystal field theory is surprisingly useful when one considers its simplicity so these are important three uh, uses now if we see the limitations it shows that the <coughs> it helps to interpret contrasting magnetic properties of high spin and low spin complexes octahedral complexes on the basis of positions of weak and strong field ligands in the spectrochemical series it provides no explanation as to why the particular ligands are placed where they are in the uh, spectrochemical series also uh, with this we have completed the discussion which is expected in this uh, lecture in the next lecture we will see the interpretation of electronic spectra with respect to degree transition and charge transfer spectra <coughs> so we will stop our discussion here uh, if not please subscribe to this channel press like button and bell icon also please, you can also please or put your comments in the dialog or comment box so that it will help us to bring any important point you are required for your studies So thank you very much for watching this video